Hello, my name is Maria Smolarek. I'm from a beautiful town, Wrocław, it's in Poland. And I'm EVS volunteer here in Tbilisi. I came four months ago and I will stay one year. I would start from differences, I think it's, uh, it's easier. And uh, I think that first of all, Polish people uh, complain a lot about weather, about traffic jam, about money, about job, about politics, a lot. And as soon as I uh, noticed, Georgian people not. They say, oh, it's, I'm fine, but they don't, they don't complain, not as much as Polish people. And what else? Um, oh, also about like in uh, driving the car. So Georgian drivers, they are very crazy, like uh, very relaxed during driving. They don't care about the rules. You can see like few cars on the street, just three cars in the same line, just going like speeding a lot. And uh, Polish people, they, they started to be more up to the rules, like caring about the rules. I would say that mentality, that the Georgian people are more uh, more open. Like you have this, we have this saying in Poland that you have heart on your on your hand, so that you are a very good person. And Georgian people definitely are like this. Polish people also, but we became more close, more uh, caring about our privacy. First of all, I would like to change the amount of garbage you have on the streets and you have in the forest. It's just, it's, it's terrifying. It's like when you see, like, uh, we live in the block of flats and our neighbors, they are just throwing garbage out of the window. So it's, it lands on our balcony. And uh, so, yes, like this, uh, I think that you don't have yet this ecological um, mentality, awareness, ecological awareness. So that, that would be the first thing. And the second thing, um, like the, when you are going out of the metro and at the same time people are coming in, in so you have to like kind of fight with them to get out. Uh, I like uh, Georgian people, like on the streets, they are always very helpful. They can give you a ride. Hitchhiking is like extremely easy here. Everyone will stop after like five minutes maximum to, to help you, to, to give you a ride, even if not to the exact destination, to the next small city. So it's also very nice. Um, I love Georgian nature, like uh, the mountains, the seaside. I was in Batumi last week and I just, I, I love it. Like it's very, it's a very nice city. I think that ev every city, even like the small villages, they have something, something special about them. Uh, so yeah, the nature, nature atmosphere here. And I think that um, even in Tbilisi, after two, three weeks, you can feel like, like you're at home because people are very, very warm. And uh, even in, in the shop, I have in my neighborhood, I have one lady, one vegetable lady, bread guy. So I chose the same person and they treat me as I'm living here uh, for like long, long time. When I hear Georgian people speaking, I always think that you fight with each other because you speak very loudly. You have this very hard language, almost impossible for me to pronounce correctly the words, but you always seem like even more than Italians, I think. Like you don't use the words so much, but with your tone of voice, you have it like very, uh, very high, very, very loud. And uh, but I like it. It sounds like very. You put all your soul when you are when you are uh, speaking to someone. And about appearance, um, at first all the uh, Georgian guys they look the same for me. Like dark hair, tall. It's very hard to tell about the age, and all have birds, all, all of them. And so they are like, yeah, very similar to each other. Uh, they seem very macho, very strong, like very masculine. Mm, and, uh, but definitely they are, they are handsome, very handsome. Especially when I went to Armenia, I appreciated more Georgian guys, because yeah, you know, in Armenia they, <laughs> they are different. And uh, about the Georgian girls, uh, I would say that like uh, the stereotype about Polish girls, so I think it would be the, also true here, that they are very beautiful, always like very well dressed, like caring a lot about their appearance. Um, so yes, definitely, definitely very beautiful. I think that the Georgian people are very into into re relax, into the free time. They like to have fun a lot, like especially supras. I think they, this is the best example of the Georgian, uh, Georgian, you know, like the thing, what, what they think about having, what the having fun looks like. So uh, I think that you like to spend time together, to talk, to sing, and to dance. You are amazing at this. Like Polish people, they 
we cannot sing and we cannot dance. Like, and Jordan are like almost every single person who I met here can sing and dance like very nicely. So it's it's amazing. And about po old people, I think that they are very similar to Polish people because um, in comparison to the Western countries. They seem very, they seem more more, more tired with with life. You can see you can see see a lot of them out of the, on the streets, like selling something. So it's still about it's very hard even when you're on your ret retirement. It's not that high your pension. Mm, and in Poland, in, in Poland, it's very similar. I think that for the guys it's more cultural shock uh, in, with greetings because guys hug here, they go like hand with hand uh, on the streets, so like like hugging and it's like totally normal among friends, male, male friends. So we are more uh, more affectionate, I think, more passion. And um, also it was very strange, uh, very strange to me the hour, the time uh, when you start uh, to work. It's like nine, ten, or even eleven. And I was like, oh my god, come on, like, we start to work at 8. So here it's, like, it's very nice to start work at 10, it's very good. And, um, but I've heard also that children at, sh at school, they also start like n uh, 9 or 10. So it's, like, for us it's very, very late. So that was those, uh, those two things. Uh, what else was cultural shock? Oh, the, I, as I mentioned, crazy drivers. It was also like, that how come you can be so not up to the rules on the streets? Mm. Oh, and also very nice, very nice, interesting thing. Like uh, in the build, in some of the buildings, you have this kind of lift when you have to put money, and when you put money, it it, go, it goes up. So, and even in, in our building, you have to put money to go down. So it's very, very strange. <laughs> I was surprised a lot when I saw this. I think that for Polish people, you don't have to recommend to come here because it's already like <laughs> a lot, a lot of Polish people here. And but I think that we still should um, pay more attention to your culture, your mentality, um, not to uh, be like this really, really tourist, but to try to get to know you better, um, especially in the small, uh, like out, outside of Tbilisi, outside of uh, Batumi, like in the small villages, like in the mountain area, especially. But I would say that yeah, yes, come to come to Georgia because it's beautiful, very different from Poland, very different from Western and Eastern Europe, and uh, it's st it's still undiscovered. So it's you can be the first one who will see this thing, and I think that in the five ten years you will have much more tourists than right now. So it will be it won't be that that nice as as it is right now. So yeah, come to Georgia. Isaupre, se cartelose, speak up about Georgia. <laughs>